channel. So today we are talking about the means to power or charge your electronics, uh, everything that's basically in your bug out bag, whether it's your cell phone, GPS radios, two-way radio, ham radios, uh, whatever it is, for trying to figure out a way to charge your electronic items. Now initially I made a video, uh, and in that video I was talking about the Gold Zero 150. Now the reason I got away from the Gold Zero 150 is basically because of the weight of it. This is before they came up with the lithium batteries. And the Gold Zero 150 is pretty heavy, and it also comes with a pretty big um, solar panel as well. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to use Gold Zero. Uh, it's definitely my intention to get the Gold Zero Yeti 3000 watt, which comes with a wheel in order to uh, get, you know, get it back and forth. And those also have big panels too, but that's going to be in my base. So whatever my base camp's at, that's where I'm going to have that. But I needed something that was going to be a lot smaller and a lot lighter. So, but it had to be strong enough to charge all of my electronics. And I do have um, quite a few electronics, definitely, but also something that I can charge using so I'm going to pack a punch and have a uh, and have a battery bank. So and um, and to be quite honest, I was looking at Canadian Prepper. You guys check out his channel. I've learned so much from watching Canadian Prepper. Not only that, um, just looking at all the product reviews that he has. He has a lot of different product reviews. And I saw this particular product on the Canadian Prepper's channel. I figured I would just go ahead and give it a shot. And maybe it would become a part of my bug out bag. So the item that I'm talking about is a power film solar. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually plug up a couple of my electronic items to it. So we can go ahead and see how it charges it up. And then we'll take a look at it going go in more depth. And, and then I'll let you guys know what I think. Pretty light, pretty small. I'm definitely gonna have the specs up for you guys. This is a look at look at it. This is how, um, how it comes wrapped up just like that. You have um, basically two ends, and you have the option to um, have two 2.5 uh, USB uh, slots here, and then you also have a 12 volt. This is pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the attachment that comes with. And you actually also have a light right here, so I think that's pretty cool. Then when you flip on the other side of it. Um, the means that you go about um, charging it, which is uh, 12 volt. So basically, uh, any type of um, uh, cigarette lighter inside a car, and then you have a USB um, connection right here uh, to go to uh, charge it. So guys, um, what I'm gonna do now, so I'm gonna open it up for you guys so you can kind of see how it looks when it comes uh, when uh, the solar uh, panel is all off. So, the solar panel is already built in, and I like the fact that it has these weather guards right here. So basically, um, if it's raining or anything like that, it's covered up. You don't have to worry about the rain getting into the electronics. So, taking a look at it, guys, this is kind of how it's set up right here. Uh, for the most part, every video that I've seen and every um, photo online dealing with the uh, power film, basically, this was on the back of your backpack and as you're walking it's basically charging it you know all day which i think that is pretty smart to have that it's definitely um, pretty long um, i think that's pretty cool so definitely when you want to charge it up you just walk around have this on the back of your backpack and you're good to go so i'm going to roll it back up and let's go ahead and charge a couple of items and see how that works see if we can get some multiple charges going on um this is my first time actually using it to charge up anything um I kind of had it sitting sitting in my uh, bug out roll for a while, um, so I had the opportunity to get to it. So let me. Um, all right, and this is how it looks, all wrapped up nice and tidy, definitely light guys, and it comes with a power bank already with it. So I think that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and charge up a couple of right, things, guys. So today I'm gonna um, charge up my Ken Kenwood THD74 uh, ham radio, and and my um, Eagle Tech flashlight which is actually uh, USB uh, rechargeable um, it's dead as you guys can see so definitely nothing going on right here and my um, 
Inmarsat uh, satellite phone. Guys, I promise to definitely do a review on a sat phone. Like I've always said, um, every survivor, backwoods person, camper, I think, you know, in my in my opinion, everybody needs a, a really good satellite phone. Um, as you know, in certain, certain events, but, um, it's gonna be real important to have uh, the ability to reach your loved, loved ones or even call for help. So having a satellite phone is definitely, definitely important, definitely important. And it's extremely important if you're a survivor. So we'll get to that at another time. So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna charge the sat phone using, um, 12 volt attachment that actually came with the power film and we're going to uh, we're going to charge the flashlight and the ham radio both using um, USB connections So everything is charging. Uh, check them out, PowerFilm.com, PowerFilmSolar.com. They have a array of different uh, uh, solar panels, uh, portable items, and, and means to uh, charge your uh, your electronics. Um, so definitely, you might want to check them out. Uh, perhaps I'll have a review when I'm out and we're uh, charging it 100% on solar. And guys, uh, when this comes in, um, you definitely want to have to charge it soon as it gets in. It does take a while to get it all charged up but once it's, it's charged up you're good to go so um yeah check them out guys on um, powerfilmsolar.com so guys like always um i really appreciate everyone taking out the time to watch these videos um currently we're at i think almost 250 subscribers i really appreciate that um definitely all my facebook family uh, all my facebook prep groups you know you guys give me a lot of knowledge a lot of information I learned a lot from you guys and I really appreciate that. All my new subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Seems like I'll be to 300 in no time and definitely from after that, I'm definitely trying to go to 400. So if there was anything that I said that was that was remotely helpful, I ask that you guys please smash that like button for me. Uh, those things really help. I don't really get many likes. And I ask that you guys please comment. Uh, I get, I, I, read, I read every comment, even though I don't get those as well, but I would definitely um, comment back. Please subscribe if you feel that I'm worthy or if this content is worth subscribing for. And on that note, guys, I will see you on.